All right. What's up, family? <clears throat> I want to thank everybody that have subscribed to my channel. Everybody that's going to be tuning in. And I just want to talk about the situation at hand because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been um have been seeing what's going on. This has been all over social media uh, over the last uh few couple of weeks. And um uh, this is my take on the whole uh, Kyrie Irving and Kanye West situations. Now, especially Kanye, because everybody, I mean, Kanye, just he's going through a lot. I understand how Kanye feels. He's going through a lot as of now. You know, the man has already divorced. Him and Kim are no longer together. She didn't took the kids. This man has lost a lot. of. He's lost everything, basically. And everybody has seen his interview on Dream Champs. The one he did with Noriega. You know, Kanye called out the Jews. Okay, and uh, I've defended Kanye before on, this, on my uh, platform. I understand what's going on with him. You know, what's going on with him is um, just what happened to Job in the Bible. But look at the book of Job, and that's pretty much Kanye West. He's going through a lot, but he means well. You know, his heart is in the right place. And, you know, uh, in Kanye's situation, he's trying to reveal to people what's really going on out here. And don't get me wrong, I don't agree with everything he said on that on that Dream Champs video. Like when he said the R&B was a step of taking God out of music, that's a false. Because, uh, what was it, Aretha Franklin and Ray Charles, those are soul artists. They're not considered R&B like that. They're soul artists. They come from a different era, a different time. And I've never seen Usher, Tyrese... Genuine, 112, Drew Hill, IMX, none of those are none of the boy or girl bands like SWV, TLC. You know, none of those groups ever did anything heinous towards God. So there's certain things I didn't like about that interview, but when he talked about the Jews, you know, some of that stuff is true. A lot of them are in power. You know, um, Okay, I'm just and this just I'm, before I get to Kyrie, I'm just gonna talk about Kanye for a few minutes. Yeah, uh, Kanye, what well, he said, some of that stuff he's saying is true, man. I, I can't deny it. A lot of the Jewish people, they they own a lot of these film companies. They they basically in charge of the media. They run these these companies such as NBC, CBS, ABC. You know, a lot of them, or have these um, they run these um labels. These recording labels. And they hire a lot of these artists that have been talking about a lot of violence. And you wonder why a lot of these rappers are dying young. Because these uh, these same Jewish people that's on top of these labels, they promote these artists. So Kanye's heart is definitely in the right place. But his only issue is because he's bipolar, he's, he could come off as too aggressive. But Kanye, what he says and what he's telling you, a lot of that stuff is actual is, is factual. It's not all out it's not over the top. Not everything's over the top with Kanye. And Kanye has been talking about love. Like I, I told everybody on my um on my previous channel, when Kanye started talking about God and he started doing positive music, is when the world really started changing on him. I'm just gonna be very honest. When Kanye stopped making songs with Little Pup and Travis Scott, and he stopped doing music, talking about him in the club with his Bugatti or getting high and all that other all those other things he was rapping about in some of his previous albums, when he started making um Sunday uh, music or Sunday Best, Donda, that's when people started to turn. A lot of people had started to um. Not like Kanye no more because Kanye wasn't making music that they wanted him to make. And when Kanye started really taking God seriously and really try to turn his life around, okay, that's when even the um, Kardashian family tried to disown him. And God had to let him know that um, Kim wasn't the right woman for him. Even though that's what uh, Kanye wanted, that family wasn't trying to, um, they didn't want nothing to do with God. If you notice, Kris Jenner. Nor Courtney, Kendall, Chloe, not even um Kyrie. You you don't see none of them going to church. None of them attended church at all. You don't see them in no sanctuary. That family wants nothing to do with God, and Kanye had to learn the hard way. 
But what Kanye West said about some of these Jews is true. And the man, and then Kanye, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this too, because even what Kanye said was all that anti-Semitic, because Kanye did say that he don't hate the Jews at all. He is trying to let the ones that are in power know that black people are struggling too. Now it goes to Kyrie Irving. Now, Kyrie Irving said actually nothing wrong at all. Kyrie has never actually, out of his own mouth, stated any hatred towards the Jewish culture or the community. All that man was posted a documentary that was actually, that actually has a book to it called Hebrews to Negro. That's all he posted because he, uh, he might have seen it already as drew interest to it and is just trying to bring awareness to it. But he posted it on his Twitter recently that's got everybody so ticked off and going at him. But this same documentary and the same books the documentary and the books are still being sold online as we speak for forty nine ninety nine. I'm going to show you in a few minutes where you can find this at. Because, again, I don't know why the Jewish community is so ticked off when this has been around for five years. I think Robert Dalton, I think that's the uh, the author and the director of it. That man been posted at his, his, uh, his media. The man been posted this documentary in his book for the last five years. All Kyrie Irving is doing is just bringing awareness. Because Kyrie Irving has openly stated, and even in his, um, if you go on, you see, if, for those that follow Kyrie on his IG lives, and you see him talk amongst other people, like whether it be Kevin Durant or some other athlete, or just other people that he's done in, interviews with, he stated that he very, he's very in tune with his uh, culture. He's constantly studying about his uh, his African heritage and his ancestry. Kyrie Irving is a student of his people, of African um, studies. So that means Kyrie Irving has surrounded himself with a lot of other uh, African professors who teach that criteria in their schools, in their classrooms and buildings. So Kyrie Irving is trying to let his black people know that, look, we, we have a culture, we got heritage, and then the Hebrews are Jews too. Now, I have explained to you, for those who have who followed me on my previous channel and on my platform, whether it be Instagram, Facebook, or even on my TikTok, I've tried to reveal the truth. I've told people this in the past, that there are different types of Jews. Because, again, everything is not anti-Semitic. When someone like Kyrie Irving is trying to explain himself, and they're doing it respectfully, that's not anti-Semitic. Because the truth needs to be revealed. And my take on thing is these two are being targeted because they're revealing the truth. Kanye is trying to let everybody know what's really going on. That these Jews are definitely in power. And have been in power for quite some time. And all Kyrie Irving is doing is trying to bring awareness to let black people know that they, they need to learn about that culture and where they come from. Again, Kyrie Irving has really said actually anything anti-Semitic at all. All that man was we treat a book and a documentary that was around for years that Amazon Prime has been making money off of. I think Jeff Bezos is the CEO of Amazon Prime. Or one of the, uh, he might be, I think, the chairman or president. That man is getting a percentage off that right now as we speak. He's been making money off of that that's been sold on his website. And if you go on Google and you type in Heroes and Negroes, the book, you see it being sold on different platforms. Walmart, Target. Barnes & Noble, that book is available still to this day. They didn't, the Jews did not take it down. So my, I'm trying to figure out why take it down now. And I don't like the way the reporters have been coming at Kyrie Irving. If y'all paid attention, for those who really have been watching basketball, if you notice, Kyrie Irving is the only athlete who they ask these personal questions about. They don't ask Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Giannis, Devin Booker. They don't ask none of them these type of questions. It's always him. And this is what a lot of black people are not. There's, there's a lot of black people out there that are starting to wake up. And they, they start to see it. They don't like what's going on with Kyrie. I don't like it myself. Because Kyrie is there to play basketball. He's not there to answer personal questions like that. When people can, go, can ask him questions like that on his lives. They answer. They, they ask Kyrie all these personal questions. That has nothing to do with the games or the teams he's played against. 
But they do these things to try to pick on him, to try to get him to respond a certain way. So it could deem him crazy. And a lot of this goes back to what's been going on with COVID-19 and him not taking a shot. They think of Kyrie as rebellious. And now I admit, man, Kyrie hasn't been the best athlete. He's has had caused a lot of drama over the last uh five years, especially since he left Cleveland. But let's just be honest, man. Kyrie has a right to his own opinion. He has a right to his own freedom of speech. As, as much as I've seen Kyrie, he's not been doing anything disrespectful at all. And I have to have to defend Kyrie Urban on my platform. There's been other YouTubers. There's a woman that was named Hacking the Headlines. This woman's so disrespectful, she said that Kyrie has masters he has to answer to, which is a racist uh, statement coming from her video. I've had to expose the racism that's um, geared towards Kyrie Irving. They are going after that man. And it's like, why? When you're not going after the, um, you're not going over Robert Doughton, who basically made the documentary. But see, this is the thing, right? I believe the reason why the Jews ain't going after Robert Doughton, because he, Robert Doughton is backed up by the Hebrew Israelites in the nation of Islam. That, that's the thing. If they go after Robert Doughton Jr., the man who uh, made the documentary and, and wrote the books, it's going to be a war. You're going to have all these Hebrew Israelites and you're going to have all these, uh, the nation of Islam coming after them. The Jews don't want that type of smoke, but they're going to go after Kyrie Irving. That's just a, that's just a basketball player that has his right to his own opinion. All, all, all Kyrie did was tweet it for people to watch it. He wasn't trying to, he wasn't trying to promote it like that. Now I know what Chuck said on, uh, I know what Ernie said on, uh, NBA TNT on, 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 yeah, on, on, uh, on um on the NBA on, on TNT at yeah, the other episode he did but come on now I think Shaq was being a little harsh no I, I and even Mark Wilborn like they've been talking to this man low down like it, it, now, this is one thing Kwame Brown has has been saying that's true the media don't really um the media will talk down on a black man on a dark skin they do treat them very harshly. Now, so that's, that's one thing I, I agree with Kwame Brown on that matter. But yeah, these two here, man, Kyrie and uh, Kanye, yeah, they're, they're targets now. They're officially public enemy number one and two to the Jewish community. Because the powers that be, and I'm going to just tell you this off the top, and again, I don't mean no harm. And this is not me trying to be anti, I'm not anti-Semitic. I have nothing to respect for the Jews because I'm Jewish myself. I have Jewish heritage. In my family's bloodline. Okay, so I got I got something I've, I've, I've stated that before. I'm black, Irish, Indian, and Jewish. Because I know who I am as a black man. I know my culture. I know my heritage. And history has proved that there have been black Jews for centuries. You cannot deny that. Now, when that, when that documentary talks about the Holocaust and this and that, okay, what happened to the, the Jews in the Holocaust was bad. I'm not denying that. I'm not gonna refute that. Again, I don't, I don't gotta agree with everything that that documentary says. But one thing is true: there are black Jews. But to see, the problem is the powers that be, the Jews who are on the top, they don't acknowledge black people being Jewish. They don't. They don't show that in the media neither. You will never see not one story, not one movie, not not one documentary about a black man or man or woman, boy or girl, growing up in a Jewish family. You will never see that. They don't want you to see that. And that is the issue here. You know, Kanye was trying to get them to see, like, look, we want, we understand how you feel and what you went through, but what about how we went through and what how we what was going through with us? And that documentary that Kyrie Irving posted also was talking about. The Jews being involved in the slave trade, which they were. They were Jewish slave owners. This is actual facts. And anybody think this is cap? You think I'm just making this up? You could go research this yourself. Everybody has access to Google. Everybody has access to a library that you could attend. Everybody has access to a computer, whether it be a laptop or a desktop. For us as people of color, we need to know where we come from. We need to know our culture and our heritage. 
So I stand by Kyrie and Kanye 100%. I, they, they got my support. Because these two men are being treated very, very low down. And they're and they using their freedom of speech, not to even to um, draw harm, but they've been using their freedom of speech to draw attention to what's been going on, to bring awareness to the situation. Again, Kanye nor Kyrie, none of these two men have said anything negative about the Jews. Yeah, yes, Kanye said he admit that he was jealous of what the Jews, the, the money, the power they had, but Kanye didn't mean it was never going to do any harm to them. Again, Kanye was trying to was trying to uh, tell him, like, look, man, we want to, we want you to acknowledge us too. We want you to see what we going through, man. Like we we, we want our fair share of the pie. That's all he was really saying in that in that interview. But see, the media has a way of twisting things around. The media has a way to make you believe believe things about a person, and have you think on that person when actually deep down in that person's heart, that's not who they really are. The media has a has a way of controlling you. See, me, myself, I'm not going to be controlled by the media. I serve an almighty God. And my God is a God of love. My God is a God of love and understanding and guidance. But if you notice that the media has been talking very down on Kyrie, especially. They, they didn't went to Kanye, now they're going at Kyrie. It's like if you say, if you, if you hold any of the Jews accountable for any of their own things they've done in the past... They'll call you anti-Semitic and be ready to cancel you. They're already trying to do it to Kyrie over now. They're trying to cancel Kyrie. They're already suspending Kyrie. And I, I believe that Kyrie ain't going to be suspended for five games. Either. It's going to be longer than that. Basically costing the Brooklyn Nets a chance at making the playoffs and potentially going to the championship or at least competing for the finals. Because Durant can't really jail. Durant can't really make that to happen unless he has another superstar. And we've seen James Harden already leave. Now, Harden left because he don't like Sean Marks. And that's another thing. Sean Marks has been doing a terrible job as a general manager. So I don't blame Kyrie for not wanting to play with Sean Marks. A lot of those players don't want to play with Sean Marks. Durant already wants to go himself. This is why you've seen Phoenix try to trade for Kevin Durant because Durant, Kevin Durant has openly stated he wants to play for another team. Kyrie really don't want to be there. I mean, just keep it real. Kyrie's not happy in Brooklyn anyway. If Kyrie had the chance, he'll be he'll he'll play for another team. But he's under contract. He's stuck in limbo right now because he can't go. He has no choice right now in the matter. Joe Sy has to uh, try to either have a play out the rest of his contract or try to trade him either before or by the deadline that's coming up next year in February. No, Kyrie don't want to play in Brooklyn. That man then regretted already. He, 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 he's realized he's made a, a terrible decision. But just look what happened over the last two seasons. Or three seasons since he got there. Because ever since Kyrie Irving has came to Brooklyn, the media has been on him harshly. And even with him not getting the vaccine, there, there's people that's criticized of Kyrie Irving for not taking the vaccine. And he's supposed to be a like a like a dick. A hole or whatever you call him, he's this, that, and the other. But there are people who didn't take it themselves. So how could you judge Kyrie Irving for doing something that he feels is right for his body, but you not even, you not even doing the same thing? It don't make any sense. But Kyrie trying to learn about his culture, his people. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing anti-Semitic about it. The problem is that there are Jewish people who don't want to acknowledge that there are blacks who are also a part of them. That is the real issue here. And Kanye is going th and Kanye is really starting to take his walk with God deeply. And as Kanye takes his walk with God deeply, the devil attacks him even harder. If you all have been all paying attention. Kanye is again, he's on the path. I've talked to the uh, man who actually counsels Kanye West. Tim Story came to my church recently. And he's getting ready to come here again in another week or so. To preach. We have a conference coming up called Revival. Tim Story always talked to Kanye West every week. He might not be ever so often, but he talks to them like every now and then. They have a conversation. So Kanye West means very well. I'm telling you that now. Kanye West is not an evil man. The man is not what he was 20 years ago. He's not making perverted music no more. He ain't turning him on being turned up in the club. No, he ain't doing none of that. 
Kanye West is really doing things for God. And I've told, I've, I've had to check Christians because Christians have been judging Kanye harshly. And it's like, man, like, come on now. If you're a Christian person, you should be trying to support Kanye. Not tear this man down. Again, black people, we got to support our own kind. But at the same time, I'm not gonna, I don't support my kind when he's in the room. That's not what I'm going to do. When two of our people are, are truly innocent like these two, I got to defend them. I got to stand by their side. And that's all I'm doing. Me being an African-American in this country. It's hard enough as it is. We got to work extremely harder. We got to work as hard. We got to work harder than every other ethnicity because we already at a disadvantage. And like Kyrie Irving said in, a, in an interview recently, growing up in this country, I got to you know I got to worry about people talking down on me. People telling me what I'm not going to be. It's very deep, man. Kyrie Irving was trying to tell the media, look, man, stop talking about, talk, stop talking down on me like I'm some enemy. Stop trying to label me. And they keep on picking at him. And all the reporters just so happen to be Caucasian. And it's sad. They have no respect for these athletes. This is why I go so hard for these athletes. Because it's hard enough as it is, they got to try to do their job to win a championship. They got to train extra hard every single day just to remain on the roster. Just so their GM or owner, whoever else is running the team, don't cut them or let them go. Or trade them to a team they don't want to be playing for. They do what they do to entertain you, but look at the look, look at everything Kyrie is going through. It's not even worth it. And this is what I understand about Sean Marks. How do you want Kyrie Irving to go to counseling? You want this man to meet with other Jewish leaders? Yet this man has already apologized. He's donated money to the ABL, but that's not good enough for you. The man has Kyrie Irving has said multiple times, "I'm sorry." He's tweeted it. He stated already in a press conference, yet yeah, you want more from this man. Sean Mark is doing way too much right now, and it's not good at all. It's almost inhumane what he's doing. And if I'm Joe Harris, if I'm Ben Simmons, if I'm some of the other players on that basketball team, like Blake Griffin, oh, I, I forgot, Blake Griffin, Griffin got traded. He's not on it no more. But if I'm everybody else, like LaMarcus Aldridge, I will stand up for Kyrie Irving. If I'm the team, man, you got to have his back. Even Kevin Durant said he didn't like what was going on. Kevin Durant even said it was ridiculous. Sean Marks is doing way too much. Money. I don't like how Sean Marks is handling this situation. Because if I'm Kyrie Irving, and again, this is this just my opinion, but if I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm not going to go meet with none of these Jewish leaders by myself. If I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm bringing some backup with me. I'm hitting up Louis Farrakhan. I'm going to contact Al Sharpton. I'm bringing Russell Simmons with me. I'm also going to bring the author of that book so he can explain himself. The one that put together that documentary, I'm going to bring him with me too in his uh, team. So it could be blacks and Jews or opposite sides having a discussion if I'm Kyrie Irving. And for accountability, I have it televised where we get us a moderator and we can really get down to business. If CNN want to join in, they can do it too. NBC, if I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm doing all that. I'm talking to Joe Side. I'm talking to Sean Marks. I'm bringing my attorney. I'm be like, look, if I'm Kyrie Irving, I'll tell Sean Marks, and I mean this with all my heart, y'all. I'm, I'm not playing around with this. This is this is real talk. If I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm already going. Uh, I'm confiding my attorney. I'm bringing my attorney when I see him. I'm gonna go up to that stadium with him and Joe Side. And I'm telling them, like, look, if you want me to meet with these Jewish leaders, I'm bringing my own representatives. I'm bringing people that represent the black community. And I'm not going by myself. It's not fair I go by myself. I'll tell Sean Marks to his face. Ain't nothing Sean Marks can really do about it. Then if I'm Kyrie Irving, I'll have a, a discussion with the team. I have a team meeting. A private team meeting. I'll tell the players, let's, let's come meet up. And let's see what we're, what's going to be our next move. Because the way Kyrie Irving is being treated by these reporters is really, is really messed up. Yet y'all wonder why Marshawn Lynch was doing what he was doing before he retired. The season when they, uh, when they went to Super Bowl and lost New England, you wonder why Marshawn Lynch didn't want to speak to the media. Because Marshawn Lynch feel the media don't respect black people. 
They don't respect his best wishes all. Oh, they keep a rat. They keep just keep picking and bugging that man. Marshawn Lynch has tried to tell Pete Carroll have somebody else talking for me. I don't want to speak to the media. Marshawn Lynch has said multiple times now he don't want to he don't want to talk at all. That man just want to play football, go to the locker, get dressed, and go home. Marshawn Lynch was trying to tell them I don't want to speak to you. I don't feel like talking to you. I have nothing to say, and they just kept picking at him. So Marshawn Lynch said, I'm only here so I don't be fine. He meant that. And Marshawn got a, got a good heart. If y'all know Marshawn Lynch off camera, he's really a good person. Noble. He does a lot of good for the kids in his community. He's like another Ray Lewis. May not be as um as deep in the faith as Ray Lewis is, because Ray Lewis is a man of God, but Marshawn Lynch means well. The man played at Crenshaw High School. Like, come on, it's like people, man, like the media, look how they was treating Marshawn Lynch. No, Kyrie Irving has a right to feel the way he feels. Like, why should he apologize? When the Jews, the, the Jewish people have not apologized for how they treated our black people. The Jews that, the Jews have not apologized for being slave masters and they haven't apologized for owning banks that funded these slave trades. With the British South, you know, and, and back in the 400 years, my people were enslaved and taken out of our land and were beaten and lynched, spit on, having to pick cotton, do all these things for white folks that owned us. The Jews were, again, running the bank system. So they took part in the pain that black folks was going through. Now, the Jewish leader has apologized for that. So why should Kyrie Irving apologize for how he feels about the situation? Again, let me show y'all something. Because this don't make an ounce of sense. So you mean to tell me this book has been, this, this look at it. Now look at that. Rent $11.99. Buy for $49.99. Look at that. They making money. Right? Yeah, excuse me. It's not, it's not Robert. It's Ronald. Look at Ronald Doughton Jr. Look at Faith and Spirituality. Documenting Special Interest. This has been around since 2018. Now they had to have known this was a, this was around. Come on now. Why has it not been taken down? Yet it's still not taken down. So that goes to show me, man, there's something else going on here. That they not it's not about this this it's not about this DVD. It's not about this documentary at all. They don't like Kyrie Irving for whichever for their reasons. Now the Jews are supposed to actually get this taken down, but why you didn't get it taken down last year? They didn't get it taken down in 2019. Why now? Like, I don't see the outrage for it. Look at that. It's still up now. Look at this. Amazon Prime. I don't, I don't understand it. Yeah, don't get mad at Kyrie now. Don't get mad at him. Get mad at Ronald Dalton Jr. Look at that. Look at all. He got all this stuff here. Nobody's going at him at all. Nobody's interviewing. I, I have not seen not one interview from this man here at all. Why isn't CNN, NBC, why isn't any of these uh, platforms trying to get in contact with, with Ronald, uh, with, um, yeah, with Ronald Doughton? Why haven't you done that yet? I'm still trying to figure it out. But you're mad at, you, you want to get mad at Kyrie Irving. Yet this man here is the one behind all of this. Look, he even got a, a thing that, that with look, Hitler's bodyguard. Look at that. Look at that. You got something. I am not your Negro. Look, you got all this stuff here, look, doing Jewish. A story from Ghana. Look at that. This man knows the truth already. This is why Kyrie Irving is trying to, Kyrie Irving is trying to uh, tell you about this author. Look, he's nudging Jews come. Look at that from Ghana. That means Jews must originate from Ghana. Then they're trying to tell you something. Look at racism in the American church. Come on, let's 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 let's, let's get down to what this is really about. Look at blacks and Jews. The failure between blacks and Jews is one of the most visible symbols of America's racial divide. Look at that. But yet, you want to get mad at Kai Reverend. But none of you are, are taking this man's stuff down at all.
Look, he even got the Native Americans. Again, let's go, let's go, okay, again, don't, don't get mad at Kyrie Irving at all. Don't get mad at him. But see, there's a reason why he's not going to come at this man. Because if Jews start going at this man here, this man got a lot of backup. The Hebrew Israelites, they are our army. Nation is on their army. So the, the, this is what I'm saying. I'm, I say this for a reason. This 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 book here has been around for for a while now, and nobody is saying nothing until Kyrie Irving tweeted it. Now suddenly it's news. Suddenly it's anti-Semitic. And I don't wish no, no harm to Ronald Dowden Jr., but Ronald Dowden Jr. is bringing the truth. He's breaking max knowledge. And see, the, the issue is a lot. Of, we don't have enough of our people reading. We need more people reading, man. Look at the chosen people. A film about Jewish identity. Come on now. Can you can you blame Kyrie Irving for trying to learn the truth? Kyrie Irving did say he reads a lot of stuff. Can you blame him for that? Black people have no culture. We have no true ethnicity here in this country. The Mexicans, the Jews themselves, the Asians, the Samoans, the Pacific Islanders, they all got their own culture. The Mexicans got their own culture. The Latins, they got their own culture. They all got their own native tongue. We don't even know ours. Look, he got, he got all these Hebrews to do. He's got, look, he got part one, he got this whole series. And nobody's trying to interview Ronald Dalton Jr. Why not? I don't see nobody interviewing him, but they want to go at Kyrie Irving. Like they try to make Kyrie Irving a sacrificial lamb. So I'm showing you all of this. This stuff has been around for a while on Amazon. Amazon has been making up, been making money off of all of this. Yeah, he gets a percentage of it because this is his stuff. But Amazon also gets a percentage of all these sales. And now, since Kyrie Irving tweeted it, people aren't going to watch it. Maybe this is another reason why they're so upset. People are going to start to see that documentary, and they're going to raise questions. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's not that's that needs to, that a lot of some of these people go have to answer to the powers that be. But y'all, that's the video. I just want to show you this for a reason. I'm showing you all this because I don't see how it's fair they doing Kyrie Irving, but you're not going at the man who actually made the documentary, who actually wrote the books. Like don't go, don't go on Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving really ain't said anything negative. Again, this whole time Kyrie Irving has never said anything negative against the Jews at all. He just tweeted about a book that he recently seen, a documentary he recently seen. That's it. But nobody wants to address the the one behind the content. But you know that's it. That's basically the video. Um, people, you tell me what you think. I'm curious to see people's opinions because I don't hate Jews at all because I'm a Jew myself. I, I, I'm already in address that. But again, we need to know where we really come from. To all, to my black people and black women, men and women, we need to know where we come from. Because we have a serious, serious issue in this country. And this man is obviously bringing awareness to what's been going on. The Jews who are in power, they will never apologize for the wrong that they've done. Because the devil comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. The demons don't care who they use. They'll use anybody for wrongdoing. And this is what people like Ronald Down Jr. has been trying to bring awareness to. They try to tell you, look, the Jews ain't perfect either. They've been doing dirt just like our people have been doing. Yeah, it's easy to get on these rappers, right? These black rappers. You know, we just, uh, rest in peace to take off. He just got killed or murdered just recently. Right, we 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 all heard we we uh, there's a lot of people that's been mourning his death, and then other rappers like Pop Smoke, Triple X, Tin Tazion, Young Dolph, even PMB Rock, they all been getting murdered by their own kind. So it's easy to get on our people for uh, for us doing wrong in our community, but what about all these other ethnicities? Okay, you we already we constantly expose the rednecks. The Southerners with that wear the Confederate flags that don't like that don't like these races, we, we get on them all the time. But when you want to call out a Jewish person for being wrong, now suddenly that's anti-Semitic. 
We can't hold them accountable at all. And this is why there's an outrage. And there are people that are starting to speak up now. So I encourage anybody, especially if you're black, like I am, you need to start reading some of this material. And if you want to read any of this material, there's other stuff out there. You could go to a library, there's black museums. You could visit a HBCU or university that has a black program being taught and go talk to some of these professors yourself. Because as you can see, I don't cap. That's not, that's not something I do. This is not cap at all. This is all factual stuff that needs to be addressed. But I want to tell you I love you all. Thank you for watching. And as I always say, 